Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just, I want to briefly talk about something um, really quickly. Well, kind of not too quickly, but I'm going to go into depth with an experience that I had re recently. Um, as some of you guys may know, I met Britney Spears on her Piece of Me tour that she did here in Dublin, Ireland on the, when was it? The 20th of August. So like, I mean, not too long ago, it was about two days ago. I'm sorry guys, this video might be all over the place. I'm really trying to just... I'm really upset by what happened, but first thing I want to say is I don't blame any of this on Britney. I don't think any of it was kind of in Britney's control. My main issue is with the promoters and the people that put all this together because it was just, it was a mess. So let me just start with how things went and we'll kind of, we'll go from there. So on the 31st of January, I purchased tickets to see Britney Spears on her Peace of Me tour. Because last time she was here was seven years ago on the Femme Fatale tour. And I thought to myself, right, well, we go, we go big or we go home. So I bought myself a meet and greet. Even though apparently that's that's not what it was. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. So I purchased that. I have my tickets both here. I bought the collector's edition ticket. So I had kind of this really cute, memorable ticket. It's just kind of a lanyard type situation. Instead of the standard ticket and then all the information's on the back. So that, that was just the regular ticket that wasn't the the meet and greet I, I'm going to keep calling it a meet and greet because that to me is what it was but that is what the promoters are saying it wasn't there's drama here we'll get to it so then in came my ultimate upgrade ticket which I purchased on her website uh, I don't know if any of you guys know about this she did kind of a fan club pre-sale I spent 40 euro just so I could get access to the tickets maybe a day or two before they went on um, pre-sale for other companies um, and I got a really shitty t-shirt. It was so stupid, so bad. What happened then was I purchased all my tickets there. I was super, super excited. I was like, right, this is great. I was trying to keep kind of a calm head the entire way through. Anyone would be like, oh my God, you're meeting Britney in August. I'm kind of thinking, yeah, okay, I am, but I don't want to kind of freak out and get super, super excited. So anyway, the day came around. This was Friday. I was super excited, really, really ready to go. I had to be at the arena for between 5 and 5.30 because that was the time we were told to be there at for registration. They said registration closes strictly at half five. Strictly. Which me, I thought, right, I need to be there before half five because otherwise they just, it's cut off point. But what happened was I was there, I got there about maybe quarter past five, maybe twenty past five-ish. Um, I got in line, I was kind of ready to go. We had people, now people were coming out. They were asking, are you here for the meet and greet? I keep saying like meet and greet, you'll you'll understand why soon. But they were like, are you here for the meet and greet or just the backstage tour? Because there was two things. There was um, obviously the solo backstage tour, whereas if you, you paid for that, you got the backstage tour and then you were in for the show. Um, I personally bought the ultimate upgrade, which was the backstage pass and then you get to meet Britney. Uh, that was a mess, by the way. But uh, yeah, we were all in line for that. So obviously the backstage tour and the the meet, the meet and greet was all in the one line because you're going to do the whole backstage tour together. You're not going to just kind of do meet and greet, then backstage pass for one group, backstage pass for next group. So moving on, we were then led into the venue. Tickets were scanned. We had to line up, kind of get our bag searched if we had any. I personally didn't, so I kind of just breezed through it. We walked up to a table. There was three women there. They were like, can you give us your name, blah, 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 do you have ID? We were then given a little bag. Now, this bag was so stupid. The things we got in it were so stupid and ridiculously cheap. I'm just going to let you guys know, I spent about 700 euros in total because I spent 500 and, uh, was it, hold on, I, I want to be accurate with this now. So this itself was 515 euro 50. That was just for the, the meet and greet upgrade alone. You had to buy a separate concert ticket for that. And here this was. This was about 86 euro. So we're already kind of, you know, in the 600 range. And then it was about 40 euro for the, um, just access to the tickets alone. So maybe, right, maybe not 700, about 650, I'd say. But, um... Yeah, so I got all my stuff. I'll show you guys what I got. They're so silly, so ridiculously stupid that I'm I'm pissed. But that's not the main reason I'm angry. I'll get to that point. So what we were given was this ridiculous bag, this clear bag. It just says VIP Nation. This has strings on the side. I'm never going to use this unless, you know, like I was going somewhere camping, maybe. I think it's really stupid. And then inside of it, this was cute, but still really, really cheap and ridiculous. This was a little black bag. It says Britney Spears on it. I thought, okay, adorable. Love her. 
And then inside, there's this Britney Spears Piece of Me limited edition VIP ticket. Now, obviously, this is just kind of, you know, for laughs, for jokes, for a keepsake. It, it's it's cute. I like it. it it's something I'm going to hold special. Because, honestly, it's probably the only fond memory I'm going to have of this entire night. And then, hold on, I'll save this to last. Because this is something I really want to show you guys. And then inside, there's a cute little box. You're like, right, okay, maybe jewellery, something something nice, something kind of like, ooh, I like this. Um, you just open it up. Inside, there is the smallest thing. Like, I'm not going to use this with fears of breaking it, but it's very kind of, it's like nearly a coral thing, if that makes sense. Like, not the colour-wise, I just mean the style-wise. And then you have a teeny, teeny, tiny tag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on, don't focus on my ugly face. That says Britney Spears. Obviously, I'm not going to wear that because I, with fears of breaking it, and I just, I, I really do kind of think it's cute, but I'm not going to use it. So anyway, uh, the other thing that we got with this package was there was two other things. Hold on, we'll get to this. This was the main thing. This is obviously an autographed Britney Spears poster. I don't know how legit these, this autograph is, but as you guys can see, it's huge. Um, that is supposedly her signature. To me, that's a scribble, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, obviously she's going to be signing quite a lot of these, um, I don't even, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get that framed. And then the next piece that we got, I'm holding on to this because there's something I want to say later in this video that I, that I, I want you guys to remember this, and I'll show it to you right now. So this was another lanyard we got, this is obviously the VIP one, it just says, piece of me, and then on the flip side, Britney Spears. So on the front of this here, this lanyard it just says Britney Spears piece of me to her um yeah so that and then flip it around this is the this is the killer side okay it says right there do you guys see that it says meet and greet tour 2018 VIP okay VIP meet and greet so this is this is what I got from VIP nation that is what they told said that is what they're putting on things so obviously meet and greet so moving on after I got all my stuff, we were kind of told to then line up against a wall. We were there maybe for about, hmm, till about, I think maybe 20 to 6, quarter to 6-ish, I, I don't know, but we were, we were there for a while. Now they said strict registration ended half five. Registration continued to go on for quite a while and uh, early access tickets were allowing people in at 6 p.m. So here I was thinking, right, we need to get whatever the hell we're about to do over and done with as soon as possible, because naturally enough, we are VIP, we paid the most, we should have priority over the early access crowd, so allowing us to get as close to the stage as possible. That was not the case. So further on, we waited for a while, as I said, we were there maybe till about 26, quarter to six-ish, the tour started. So we walk into the room, the the main room where the stage is, so obviously where everybody else was going to be later on in the night. We walk in, you see the stage, the stage looked fantastic, it was gorgeous, like, you know, it, it's the piece of me stage, we've all seen it, if you guys haven't seen it, I mean, why are you on my video, firstly? Um, so we walk in, we accidentally bump into two of our dancers, I don't know their names, they were super, super nice, we were given photo opportunities with them, but I was kind of thinking... I don't really want one. Like, I mean, they're super great. What they do is fantastic. But I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm here for the tour and I'm here for Britney. So what happened was we were then told to stand together in a, as a group. And the man organizing the tour, unfortunately it wasn't Felicia. She wasn't part of this tour. I would have loved if she was because I heard such great things about Felicia. But this man then turned around, no phones, no pictures, no video recording, no anything. So we can't, we couldn't record anything. And this all makes sense later on, but I'll get to that. So after we met the dancers, we were then brought towards the stage. So being that close to the stage, there was nobody in the building apart from those putting the stage together, which I thought was super cool, really interesting. I liked that. So later on, then we kind of walked around the side um, towards the back of the stage and the man organizing the tour turns around and goes, we're going to bring you on stage. Now, naturally, I was like, oh, my God, this is fantastic. I'm so excited because, I mean, you know, you're you're on Britney's stage. To me, that's Britney's stage. I don't know if other people use that stage, but it's Britney's stage. So um, he speaks down some walkie-talkie device thing and goes, we're bringing the VIPs on stage. So, and then some guy voice comes back through the device and goes, you should have told us, like, we're not ready for the VIPs. But there was some sort of altercation there. But I think they kind of somehow got over it because we were still 
ended up on the stage. We just had to wait maybe about 20, 30 seconds. Um, so brought up on stage, we were kind of brought out kind of towards the catwalk. We had the catwalk this time, fantastic. We were on that maybe just a couple of seconds, just kind of enough to breathe it in. He told us a few facts that were like they use 80 pounds of confetti each night and blah, blah, blah. So moving on then, he brought us around to the other side of the stage where we seen some props from the circus tour, which I thought was really cool. Now, when I say some props, I literally just mean like maybe one thing. One thing, it was this big thing, I think, that she stands on or something. I'm unsure. But um, yeah, it was this large thing from the Britney tour or the circus tour. So it wasn't, we, did, we didn't go back and see so many things. Then we bumped into one of the guys that puts the tour together. I can't remember his name. He was American. He worked on the Vegas thing. It was like, he's great. I love what he does. So like, well done to him. Like he puts the stage together and makes sure every single night it's done. I think he said it takes about four or five hours to put it together. And then he only has about two hours to take it down. Obviously it's not him alone, but like there's others doing it with him, but he's kind of the main guy, but he even mentioned it. He goes, we're a family, we're a team. We all work together. I like that. That was cute. So after that, then we were brought around back out in, into the main where the stage is. So we were in kind of the general standing area and the, they bring out a few costumes and we asked a few small questions. This lasted very, very quickly. We were shown maybe two or three costumes, um, told a few facts about them. Obviously, uh, we were told that Brittany hand chooses everything. And if there's something she doesn't like and needs changed or something that needs to be made, it's made very, very quickly and it needs to be done by that night. So like the people that make her costumes, fantastic, well done. We were then, after that, that lasted maybe five minutes, I think, f five, six minutes. Um, we were then brought over to the merchandise stall where we were told, you know, you've access to merchandise. Now, personally, I looked at the merchandise. I didn't like much of it. The only thing I did buy, I'll show you really, really quickly, was this really nice bag that I got. It just has like, it says it's Britney bitch. Oops, I did it again. It's obviously a Slayer for You reference. That right there says Toxic, uh, Femme Fatale, all, all of these say Britney. That says Baby One More Time and Britney, Piece of Me. So like, it's a nice bag. The merch wasn't great. I thought it was kind of generic. Like the stuff at the Femme Fatale tour when I was there last time, so much better in my personal opinion. But then we were told to stay there. We had to stay put, which I thought was very strange. I was like, right, okay, like the the backstage thing was over. We were done with the backstage tour within 10, 10 minutes. Definitely at least 10 minutes. Between 10 and 15 minutes, we were, we were done. Backstage tour was done. Um, we were then kind of huddled in a group again. And we all asked them, we were like, can we, can we go find our places now? Like, is, is it all right if we, like, find a place to be? And then he goes, oh, no, like, we can't do that. We have to let the the early access people in first. And I thought, I was like, hold on, what do you mean? Like, I, we paid the most. Like, surely to God, you're not going to let another crowd in before us. But no, he was, he was adamant. He turned around and goes, we, we have to let them in. Like, they paid early access. It's time for early access to come in. Uh, we were not allowed to move from where we were. We were told just you have to stay until all of early access find a space. So as you guys can already imagine, there was there was quite a lot of early access people. So all the good spots of the stage were taken up. We were already behind people, which I thought was very, very unfair considering I keep saying it. We paid the most, but like it's like naturally you pay for VIP. We didn't have a cut off VIP section. There was no little bit for us to stand behind because we paid the most. I keep saying we paid the most. But um, yeah, so early access had taken up all the good spaces as close to the stage as possible. Um, all the good kind of spaces were then around the catwalk. Brittany doesn't spend much time on the catwalk. So, I mean, we got all right places. I personally got okay places, but that, that doesn't even come to the point. What happened then was, before we were told we could move again, he turns around and goes, meeting Britney happens at 8.15, so meet me out of the box office at 8.15. And I thought I was thinking, but general access is at half six, so the entire arena is going to be full of people, and you would expect us to move from our already shitty spaces to go the whole way back outside to meet Britney, come back, and then try and squirm our way back through to a decent space. I'm so, like, it was just, it was a complete shit show. It was all over the place. So I found kind of an all right space next to the stage. I was very, right next to the, the catwalk, the very end bit. I was waiting for my boyfriend to come in because obviously he bought a ticket. He got in, he stood next to me and we were there maybe, this was about half six again. So we had to wait there. Pitbull was due to come out at, I think, eight. 
So the time rolls around, I'm freaking out. Moving on. Uh, Pitbull comes on about 8 o'clock. My boyfriend looks at me, he goes, you're probably going to want to leave soon because like you have to be meeting everyone for 8.15. I was like, yeah, no, I'll leave in a minute. I left it till 10 past because I was like, I don't want to be kind of like rushing it too much. But um, yeah, that happened. So about 10 past 8, I looked at my phone. I said, can you please keep my space? Because obviously if I move, people are going to try and push forward. I said to him, I said, I will be back as soon as possible. Do not move because... Like, I know, I was, at, I, I was at an all right space. I would have been at a better space if all of this was organised and planned better. But it was not. So I then run out to the box office. Um, unfortunately, people were led up before me. So I had to talk to someone and she was speaking down a walkie-talkie and goes, right, okay, I have another person for meet and greet. We'll bring them upstairs. I came upstairs, ran into the people that I knew in the queue. They were like, oh my God, we thought we lost you. Like, um, blah, blah, blah. So this was about quarter past eight. We were all in the queue. We were all kind of freaking out because, you know, you're meeting Brittany. But what happened was when we went upstairs, we were, we were kind of, we were in an area that's just below the seats above us, but you can still see the entire arena below you. Like, it, it's not a full wall. It's maybe just up to a waist type grate type thing. I, do, I really hope I'm trying to explain this as good as possible. But, like, you can still see the stage. Pitbull was performing. Like, it wasn't a sectioned off room we were going to. We were kind of, like, going to an area of the arena that had been blocked off but it's still very visible to the public, only for the p fact that they put up curtains. So, like, you can't see her, but, like, she was there. Right, okay, moving on. So we were there maybe about 15 minutes. 15 minutes at least. So it was already about 8.30. Brittany was due on about 9.15. Um, so, oh, this just... It really upsets me to think about. But anyway, we were all in line. There was about 10 people ahead of me. I was standing there chatting away to people I knew. Um, so what happened was they pulled the first curtain... And then there was a bit of a hallway. Again, not a hallway, but what they had was, it was a bit of the section, the grate, the curtain. It looked like a hallway because they had things stacked up. So it was really, really narrow. Tiny, tiny, tiny. It would have been much bigger if they didn't have half the shit that was in there. But um, we all queued up against the wall. They were like, keep to the wall, keep to the wall. So then what happened was, I didn't see the first person go in. They pulled a curtain. They let they let someone in. as Because I'm just talking from my experience. Naturally, they would have had to pull a curtain and let someone in. But there was at least 10 people ahead of me. And within 30 seconds, all those people were done. Every single one of them, they had walked by me. There was people with, like, angry faces. They were really upset by it, disappointed. Like, you you just, I, I just looked at them and I knew. I was like, this is going to be horrible. So, uh, this is, I hate saying things like this. But anyway, it then came up to the point where I was next to go in. They looked at me. They were like, do you have anything? They pointed at my pockets because obviously they could see there was stuff in my pockets. I was like, I have my phone and my wallet. They were like, take them out. You can't bring them in. So I put them on a little table. I had that Britney bag that I showed you guys. I put it there as well. And the security just like stared at me. Because, like, I was trying to remain calm because people often say that, like, if you go in and meet Britney Spears, don't freak out. Don't kind of go, oh, my God, you're Britney. Like, try not to go mental. I was I was as calm as anything. But, like, moments before I was freaking out. But I was like, no, Justin, this has to go right. So it was then my turn to go in and meet Britney. They pulled the curtain. They said, next. I walk in, turn to my left. I I see Brittany for half a second. I, I, I physically can't register her face. Like, it, it's awful. The entire memory is a blur to me. I don't remember any of it. So I'm walking in. I go, hi. She looks at me and goes, hi. Like, with her cute little southern thing. But it was very hard to hear her because Pitbull was playing in the background. None of this was in a sectioned off area, as I said before. So she kind of like puts her hand on my back. We were strictly told no hugs and no kisses. So I didn't want to touch her. I was like, I, I, I'm not ruining this moment. I was Because they, they specifically said absolutely no hugs and you cannot kiss her. And as, at that I was kind of thinking, right, I'm not going to kiss the woman. But like, you know, a hug would have been nice. So anyway, as I said, I walk in. Hi. And then she goes, hi. So hand on my back. I'm standing there really awkwardly. I think I haven't even got the photo back yet. I look at the, the camera, couldn't even see the camera, to be honest. Like, there was a big ring light. This ring light was huge. So, um, being blinded by a ring light, uh, I think the photo was taken. My jaw was shaking. I'm pretty sure I'm making some awkward kind of type smile. Probably. No idea. Um, 
and then all I get was thanks for coming sweetie and they're told next and I was out I was um I was in with Britney Spears for two seconds and I didn't even get to tell her anything I didn't get to tell her my name I just I wanted to have that memory that I was able to say I met Britney Spears I told her that I was a big fan and I've loved her for forever and that entire moment was taken away from me because it was so rushed and so poorly organized and again I don't blame Britney for this none of this is her fault it's the promoters VIP nation fucked up they screwed up everything was done arseways because I know this only because I've, I've been hearing bad things about the European meet and greets Everyone's complaining, saying that like, okay, you know, she doesn't say much. You don't have much time with her. You're in and you're out. You are rushed in and out in a second by her team. Like, it's not her. Brittany, Brittany couldn't have been nicer. Like, she said, hi. She goes, thanks for coming, sweetie. Like, it just, it really, really upsets me because I've loved her forever. And that was meant to be one of the biggest moments of my life. And I can't look back fondly on it. I can't. I can't say I met Britney Spears. I wasn't looking for a full five minute thing with her. I wasn't looking to sit down and have a cup of tea with her. I just, I was looking to look at the woman and tell her how much I loved her and how much I appreciated her and how much she, how much she saved me. And I'm getting really emotional now because thinking back about it, it was like my childhood dream was destroyed in two seconds. I'm really stupid for crying on camera, I know, but... Um... Um... Okay, I need to get decent, hold on. Okay, I know I'm really puffy-eyed and I sound a bit nasal. I'm so, so sorry, guys. I didn't think I was going to cry in this video. That wasn't the plan for this. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's really, really hard thinking that you're meeting your idol. I just, I wish I had some sort of recognition from her. I wish I had some sort of connection with Britney. It was just, it was in, out, picture, done. I paid six hundred and fifty euro just for a picture with Britney and nothing else. People have super cute memories with her. Like she chats to people in Vegas. People have had really really nice moments with Britney. Um, like you know, it's just oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So that then happened, and then I had to find my way back to um, the bit where I was at the stage, right next to the stage. Um, I had to squeeze my way through the crowd. I had really ignorant people turn around to me and go, oh, there's no room, like, what you do? And people just wouldn't move, so I had to shove. I'm sorry, like, I was in a good space. I paid so much money for this, and I had an awful experience. The only thing that saved it for me was the Britney show itself. She was fantastic. She looked gorgeous. <sighs> oh, my God. But, yeah, anyway, um, the... The concert itself was great that like I, I'm so glad she came back to Dublin it was like I'm so so happy for that like I don't know maybe in the future I might get a better meet and greet in in Vegas if the rumors are true that she's returning but the European meet and greets were trash I then went on to, to contact VIP Nation and they made it very clear that everything I was promised was sold to me I got what I needed they said that the backstage tour was an exclusive look into how the show was put together. I was brought on stage. I was shown three costumes for 10 minutes. I'm sorry. I don't feel much from that. Um, that wouldn't have bothered me as much if the meet and greet was put together better. It wasn't. Like, they then turned around and goes, it was never advertised as a meet and greet. It was advertised as an um, individual photo opportunity. Like, first thing I want to say about that is, Yes, it does say an individual photo opportunity, but at the same time, they turned around and said, we never used 
the word meet and greet. It was never advertised as a meet and greet. It was always only told or it was always only promised as an individual photo opportunity. And because I got that photo with Brittany, that is like it was promised as sold. Now, I'm sorry if this does not say meet and greet right here. Please tell me I'm going crazy. That says meet and greet tour VIP Britney Spears. I didn't get any VIP treatment. I got nothing. I got stupidly cheap merchandise. I got a poster I don't even think she signed. And they just, they fucked up so much. And it hurts me a lot. So, um, I don't know. Call me ungrateful if you want. You, you just... Because I've already had an awful lot of people tell me I should have been lucky to get a meet and greet. I should have been happy to be in the same room as Britney Spears. Don't get me wrong. I was delighted with the opportunity. I am so glad that I, I possibly have a nice photo with Britney. But Lord knows it's going to come out like trash. Because obviously you're not going to have a good photo with someone if you've only had the chance to say hi to them. So, VIP Nation screwed up. Anyone who has a meet and greet ticket, don't call it that because they only see it as an ultimate upgrade and all you're getting is a three second picture with her, not even the chance to say hello, and you're rushed out of the room as quickly as possible. So that's my Britney Spears experience, you guys. Um, again, there's no hatred towards Britney. I'm not angry at Britney. Uh, She's obviously on a very tight schedule, had a lot to do. She was on stage in about 45 minutes, so naturally enough, she had to get ready. But, you know, we we were rushed. We were thrown in, thrown out. Um, yeah. I'm going to end this here and just kind of say uh, thanks, you guys, for watching this video. Please, just please understand where I'm coming from and and don't see this as a, oh, he's ungrateful or, oh, he's angry at Britney. I'm not angry at Britney. I'm angry at VIP Nation for handling the situation so, so poorly. Um, until next time, guys, thanks for checking out this really fun and happy video. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Wait, what are you still doing here? My video is over, you guys. If you want to see more of my content, don't forget to subscribe. Like my videos. If you guys want to see some more fun stuff on my channel, you might like this here. Come on, it takes one click. Just do it. <laughs> Every Wednesday, it's not Wednesday. Why are you here?